Hello everybody, we have a requirement here to enhance transaction BA05, the list of sales orders. So what I will do is, I will execute a special transaction to turn on the administrator mode of STA ALV enhancer. Now if I re-execute the transaction, a new button appears on the toolbar of the ALV. I press that in order to activate ALV enhancer for this ALV grid and I will keep the default settings now. So, I'll add new fields using this field catalog extension feature. This pop-up window contains all the fields that are available in the ALV. So, the first requirement is to add text field for distribution channel plant sales organization and sales office. So, I will scroll here, select the distribution channel, I make it visible and add the text. The same for plant. Actually, the plant has uh, multiple text fields that are available, so I will choose the first name. And here I add the text for sales organization and sales office. Great. Requirement number two is to add the customer material number to the list. So maybe next to the material number, I choose new field, fields from database, and I choose VBAP as a source table. Let me search for ADMAT, which is the customer material number, select it. And now I have to define the key field mapping. So I have to tell the system which ALV fields to use when reading table VBIP. So actually I can use the search help and that will fill it automatically. Alright, here you can see that the new field is added. Still in requirement 2, we have to add the loading date. So next to the delivery date, uh, I will do the same procedure, field from the database. Now it is VBEP. And uh, the loading date is LDDAT. So I select it, I want to add it. And again, I use the search help to maintain the key field mapping between the table and the AI grid. Here you can see that the loading date is added as well. All right, the uh, next requirement is to add the new field that contains the net value converted to Swiss francs. Here's the net value, so I'll add the new field, choose currency conversion, and here as you can see, a new field is added. Let me filter the, the rows and columns of the ALV num. The amount field is the field that we want to convert. The currency reference field is filled automatically. This will hold the origin of currency for each record. And now I have to define a date field, which will be used for the uh, for reading the exchange rates. I will change the uh, choose the document date, and I will define the target currency. Oops, not CHF for Swiss francs. All right. This is done too. Requirement number four is to highlight this field with colors. So what I do is add conditional formatting. Here you can see it's added. So I will create a formula in order to highlight uh, the high value orders. So it's color of net value of net value, I make it a color formula, and the formula will be pretty simple. I make an if statement. If the net value in Swiss francs is higher than 50,000, then I want the cell to be red. Otherwise, I make another if statement with the same condition, so if the net value is higher than 25,000, then I want it to be yellow, otherwise I want it to be blue-gray. So that's it. That's my formula. The next requirement is to add a new field that contains the duration of shipping, so the number of days between the delivery date and the loading date. 
So um, maybe I will add it here. I press new field, formula field. The name will be shipping days. Shipping days. I uh, add it here too to the column text. I press this button again to show only the formulas and create the formula itself. So it's shipping days. And it's calculated as the delivery date minus the loading date. That's it. Okay, so requirement number six is to display the calendar week and date text of the delivery date. So again, I come here, select the delivery date and choose new date function, long text of day new date function week number without year it's done so requirement number seven is add the button to the alv toolbar that calls md04 stock requirement list or the selected line in order to implement this i select the material number choose entity settings and for the standard material i define that this function should be enabled and added to the toolbar. I maintain the field mapping, so again, the material number should be filled from the material number field and same for the plant. These are the input parameters actually of this function module. All right, that was it. Mm, what else do I have to do? Uh, maybe I have to set this to visible and uh, that's it. Requirements number 8, 9, and 10 are automatic, so I don't have to do anything. Let's see what happens. Oh, looks great. So, let's check the requirements. First one, add text field to the distribution channel. It's here. Same for the plant. It's here. And here you have the sales organization name and sales office name. So, requirement 1 is perfect. Number two is I add the customer material number is there and add the loading date which is here. Great. Number three, add a new field that contains the value in Swiss francs. Here it is. Number four, highlight the field with high value orders. As you can see it works perfectly. Everything above 50,000 euros is red. The rest is, uh, above 25,000 is yellow and all the rest is blue gray great requirement number five add new field that contains the duration of shipping it's here calculated this one minus this one that one it's there and uh, requirement number six display the calendar week and name of the day for the delivery date it's there number seven add a button on the toolbar that calls md04 let's choose this one Let's press stock overview and there you go easy isn't it so um, requirement number eight add navigation function to sales organization shipping point and plant so here is a plant just choose STA AL enhancer plant display object great works perfectly the standard transaction is called the same for sales organization if you right click there you, you can jump to the standard transaction. You can actually do the same for uh, the selected record using the toolbar menu. So the shipping point I choose and there you go. It's displayed. Actually this works for any business object in the AI grid. So I can choose the material and then MM03 is displayed. Works like a charm. Mm, requirement number nine is to add generic object services to all business objects. Okay, it's practically the same. You right click here, choose standard material, and there you have a generic object services. Let me attach a file to this material, and also I will make a private note for this one. Great material. Cool. 
So, if you now display the material in MM03, the, attach will, uh, the attachment will be there and uh, also the private node. So actually you can access the generic object services from any ALV grid in your system. All right, requirement number 10 is to add a function to display the most frequently occurring materials. That's again an automatic feature of ALV Enhancer. Just right click here and choose display unique values. And here you can see that 16 unique records exist in our selection of uh, 228 records. And if you sort this, you see that these three materials are occurring uh, 69 times in the list here you have also the percentage out of the total number of records so again that's that works fine and it's pretty obvious I guess but let me show you that you don't have to do this all the time so if you re-execute the transaction now all the features and fields will be there and not only for your user for any user in the SAP system so Everything works fine and only about 10 minutes have passed. Can you beat this time? If yes, then please apply for a job at sta-technologies.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.